Yeah, Charlie, I mean, where, where are you? I mean, what's, what's wrong? Why on earth would you need Echo to meet you? Uh, look, would you just please call me? Please? Hello, Vicky. Oh, what a surprise. <laughs> we better sit down and have a chat. So tell me what happened after you left the palace. Okay, fine. I did as you suggested, and I went home, and I gave Charlie the opportunity to tell me what had happened with Echo. Did he admit to kissing her? Yes. Ha! Eventually. I mean, he, he said there was a kiss, but he did not instigate it. She did. You believed him? Yes, of course I believed him. Come on, Dorian, she was drunk. Well, you know that. You got her drunk. Oh, please, don't blame your husband's discretions on me. Charlie didn't do anything wrong, okay? Oh, right. mm -hmm. I mean, he was, he was trying to help Echo. And apparently she just threw herself at him and took him completely unawares. But it is not going to happen again. So, so what was with that message you were leaving, Charlie, that concerned Echo? Uh, okay, I, I was talking to Echo. And her phone rang, and it was Charlie. And apparently he said that he needed to meet with her immediately or something. And you don't know why? No. I asked her what was wrong, but she took off and never gave me an answer. I cannot believe that Charlie and Echo are together, and, and you don't know where. No, thank you. But I will know as soon as he gets my message and calls me back. Mm -hmm. And as soon as he gets finished doing whatever it is he's doing with Echo. They're not doing anything, Dorian. There is nothing going on. Look, Charlie gave me his word. Did Echo give you hers? Well, I told her I knew what she had done. She blamed it on the alcohol. Said that she'd put Charlie in an awkward position and apologized that for that. woman's apologies mean nothing. I know that. And that is why I told her if anything like that ever happens again, she will be out on the street in a heartbeat. You mean you haven't kicked her out of your house already? I can't, Dorian. Charlie begged me to let her stay because she's trying to uh, build a relationship with Rex and Shane. There's only one relationship she's interested in building, and that's one with your husband. Dorian, I've been in Charlie's shoes. I mean, he lost a son. <laughs> and obviously, Jared can never come back, but having... Rex in his life now, it feels like, it feels like redemption. But with Echo being Rex's mother, it can only be a disaster. Well, he's not focusing on Echo. He's focusing on building a relationship with Rex and Shane. And I have to let him do that, even if it means I have to accept Echo. So you're just going to let her get cozier and cozier inside your house. And then one night when you are away, she'll go wandering down the hallways and, oh, 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 by accident, open the wrong door. Oh, and stumble into the wrong bed. Okay, it's not going to happen. You're practically drawing her a map. Look, she's the mother of Charlie's son. I cannot push her out of the house now without looking like an absolute villain. Of course not. That's my job. You are going to throw Echo out of my house? How? You'd need a crowbar. I have more subtle techniques in mind. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> Subtlety is not your strong suit. Pardon me. Do you want that woman out of your house, or do you not? Yes, you know that I do. And you know why I do. But I don't know why this is so important to you. Maybe because I'd like to see a happy marriage survive for a change. Or maybe because I don't want to see you hurt the way David hurt me. Dorian, that's a very nice thing you just said to me. Don't get used to it. Oh, not a chance. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's shake on this, shall we? We are going to bring that bitch down.